Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would go through and show a website which I've built for a friend. Um, actually, it's kind of just a little side project. Um, and yeah, shipped it quite quickly actually using a cool template which I thought I'd show you. Um, this was using React, um, so Next.js, actually the framework, and then Tailwind as well for styling. Um, and yeah, it was quite quick and, and simple to set up really. Um, and yes, as, as I kind of recommend it, um, if you've, let's say, get contacted by someone or family or friends to sort of build a quick landing page site really. Um, this was just a single page, but yeah, had a few different sections. Um, and yeah, I thought it was it was quite nice and would be cool to kind of show some of the code behind it. Um, and yeah, if you ever need a, a similar template, um, we'll highly recommend it. So that I'll leave in the description box below. Um, just found it on GitHub actually, it's kind of open sourced. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and kind of just go through the site really. So you can see we've got a nice um, logo here. We've got a couple of header um, items in the nav bar um, and a, a big intro section, which has, um, I don't know if you can see that exactly, but it kind of goes from a lighter orange to a darker orange, um, sort of top to bottom. Obviously we've got a, a logo here and we've got a ring around that. Um, and yeah, contact me as well. And there's a nice little animation and slight subtle color changes on the bottom. Um, yeah, he didn't want anything too crazy. Um, and also I didn't want to spend too much time on it. So this was really quite a quick project um, just to kind of get out the door. So yeah, scrolling down, we've got then sort of the who am I, what do I do about section. Um, again, he gave me all of the um, sort of the copy for this. Um, so yeah, I just created the designs based on these and then sort of the colored numbers as well. So we have a bit of a color scheme going through the page. Then we've got some projects and these go off just to external um, sites. So you can see again, a bit of animation on the arrow and it, it changes color, which I think was quite nice. Uh, what people say, we've just got one review um, or testimonial. There, there was an image as well, um, or I think that would be nicer or perhaps the name, but yeah, he was happy with sort of this and, and how it looked. Um, and then obviously as, as more testimonials come in, um, we can add them onto the site pretty quickly. So, and then finally just a get in touch. So he's got his yeah um, email address, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, and then a footer logo as well. Um, if I just show you the mobile, version so it's all kind of responsive by design um, so mobile first we can see we've then got a sticky nav bar here um, which I thought was quite nice um, and that goes obviously in front of uh, sort of a higher z index than the, the rest of the elements on the page um, again got the contact me if now got also socials at the top if you're on mobile um, and then everything kind of just goes to one column if I'm correct which yeah it should do and I think on slightly larger devices, maybe like sort of tablet, there is slightly difference where this goes to, yeah, sort of two, um, or is it here perhaps? So that goes to one, does this? No, it all does stack on top. Uh, I thought there was a difference there, but perhaps not, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so that was kind of it really, a really simple site, as you can see, um, it is live now and sort of hosted, um, sort of using his existing hosting provider. We just switched out, switched out the, um, the build files and sort of pointed it somewhere else. And if I open up the code here and sort of bring that out, um, you can see this is just a, a kind of a classic React app. Um, we are using TypeScript, so we've got some types here. Um, the styles have got a global CSS file and then um, inline, um, so we're actually using sort of, I guess, CSS modules sometimes. Um, but within there, we will also have on the components themselves, um, some tailwind. So let me just find one example. Um, I thought I was writing that. Let me have a look at the module. There we go. So it's quite an interesting way to um, write CSS. Actually, I haven't done this before, but as you can see, we can apply these tailwind classes. Um, so let's say to the, the footer class, and then if we want to add any more override, we can, you know, we can do, um, oops, or, uh, you know, um, add additional classes um, below. And I've done that a few times sort of throughout the site. Um, and as you can kind of see, this works on molecules, atoms and organisms um, in terms of component design which yeah, I haven't really worked with before, but yeah, it's quite an interesting concept. And I think for small sites and then probably as you scale and let's say this grows larger than just um, sort of yeah, a few different components, it would be really nice um, 
sort of have these and create them. So as you can see, we've just got the different sections here as molecules, and then the actual atoms themselves would be the individual elements. So just the only example we've got here is a button. Um, and if I show you that, you can see it's very simple. So we just take in two props of variant and children. Um, so that will just be the text inside. And then, yeah, just the class name um, on the variant. And then we can use this button elsewhere in the app. Um, we don't pass through an on-click. We just handle that wherever we're calling it. Um, so yeah, those are the components in terms of pages. Very simple, just a single page. So there's no kind of routing or anything needed from the page directory. And if I just check the package.json, I'll just show you um, what we're using here. Where are we? Dependencies. So I'm using Next13. Um, and this is still the, the pages directory uh, rather than the app route. But yeah, really works quite well. You can see frame of motion for some of the animations. So actually, if I refresh the page, we should be able to see that um, intro come in and up and the text here as well. Um, and yeah, there was a few other little animations on the site, but very simple, nothing too crazy um, at all. Using React icons for those icons that you saw. Um, and yeah, kind of just standard stuff. That a lot of this came with the, the repo. And yeah, I don't know if I've got a link to it here, but we can basically see that, yeah, it supports CSS with Tailwind. Sorry, Tailwind with CSS modules, which we saw, um, Jest and React testing library. Um, although I don't think I wrote actually any tests in the end for this, um, just because they weren't really needed. Uh, we've got ESLint, Husky, and CommitLint as well, and then Atomic Design. So that was the Atomic Design um, where you can see we've got um, atoms, molecules, and organisms um, sort of going from smallest to largest. Um, and yeah, certainly recommend it. It really works quite well. Um, I don't think I've got the... Um, the actual starter project, let me see if I can find it. Um, let's just have a look here. And I remember actually it was called Nexus. Nexus. Um, and I know Nexus is like a repository manager. Uh, Next.js TypeScript. But yeah, if I can't find it now, I'll pop it in the, um, the description below. But yeah, I don't know if this is it or not. No, it's two years old. Yeah, the, the one I found was um, a lot newer and yeah, it seems to work quite well. And obviously, as I said, although it uses the pages route, which actually I do quite like working with for like simple sites like this, and there's no need for a server or a backend or anything, um, then yeah, it works quite well. And actually all we, we did in the end was I just built the site and then ran um, the export command um, in the package.json, that script down here, and then that ac exports an out.zip file, and that's what's uploaded um, to his hosting provider. So it's basically a static site. Um, and, you know, there might be an argument that it's kind of overkill, um, but at least for now, because we're using Next, um, you know, uh, rather than, let's say, like GitHub pages or a simple just HTML, CSS where, um, website, which you certainly could do, um, yeah, it kind of just future proofs the, the website if you want to add functionality like, you know, sort of, I guess, different form events or, or sort of other things or really build it out. Um, it's definitely open um, and then also to open to other developers as well. So React and TypeScript, I don't really see going anywhere. Um, and Next.js as well. You know, we can certainly upgrade it or, yeah, just keep it as is for now. So, yeah, that's kind of all for this video. I just thought I would show you um, what I've been building here. Um, I actually built it a few months ago. It was only recently it went live. Um, and, yeah, it's on uh, this domain here as well. So, yeah, quite a nice little simple site. And, yeah, I will post the, as I said, the starter repository below. Um, and then this one, um, I guess, technically could be open sourced if you want to kind of copy it and just switch out some of the items um, and sort of save yourself the time if let's say in this instance a, a friend or any family want a, a quick landing page um, and you can just spin it up let's say in a weekend even just change out some of the items um, and have that hosted for them so yeah thanks for watching again and hope you found this useful and i'll see you in the next video